Hello coders. Welcome to Devly Code. We are talking about automatic image slider, and today in this tutorial, we will learn how to make an automatic image slider in HTML and CSS only. Yes, you heard it right. We will use only HTML and CSS to make this project. Automatic image slider is common website UI that you have must seen on many websites. On websites, you will generally see this in the hero section, product section, or gallery section. There are many images in the image slider, which it shows one by one to the user. By the way, there are two types of sliders. One is a manual slider, which has two buttons, the next button and the previous button. And the second is the automatic slider, which moves automatically at a fixed time interval. So we are going to make that automatic image slider using HTML and CSS only without JavaScript. Let's dive in. First, create an index.html file. In the HTML code, first, we have linked our stylesheet file in the head tag. Then under the body tag, we have created parent section, which class name is slider container. And under this parent slider container, we have created child section, which class name is slider. Then we created div under the child section. We give a class name of the div slide one, which will be our slide. And in this slide, we have IMG for images content and span tag with class name caption from slider caption. If you have noticed that, we have created the class name of slide div is slide one. Here slide is the common class and one is the unique class. Because we will keep this slider as multiple, then if we design a particular slide, then this class name will help us at the same time. Right now this is the first slide that's why it has unique class one. When we will add more slide, then we will add two for second slide three for third slide, etc. Here we have duplicated the slide div four times. So we have created five slides in the HTML code. Here is the complete structure of our HTML. All right, now our HTML structure is completed. Let's go to CSS part. Let's break down the CSS step by step. First, we'll reset some default styles and set up the base layout. The universal selector asterisk resets the margin and padding for all elements to zero, ensuring no unexpected spacing. We also set box sizing, border box to include padding and border in the elements total width and height. Finally, we set a default font family for consistency. Next, we style the body to center the slider on the screen and give it a dark background. Here, we make the body take up the full viewport height, 100 VH and use Flexbox to center the slider both horizontally and vertically. The dark background makes the slider stand out. Now, let's style the slider container. This will define the size and positioning of the slider. The container is set to 60% of the viewport width and has a fixed height of 40 rem. We use overflow, hidden to ensure that only one slide is visible at a time. Now let's style the slider class. The slider div holds all the slides and is responsible for the sliding animation. The width is set to 400% because we have five slides and each slide takes up 100% of the container width. The animation property applies a keyframe animation called sliding that lasts 30 seconds and repeats infinitely. Later we will create sliding animation. Now let's style the slide class. Each slide is styled to take up the full width and height of the container. The min width 100% ensures that each slide takes up the full width of the container. The images inside the slides are set to fill the entire slide. Let's style the image tag. Width 100%, height 100%. The image fills the entire slide, ensuring it covers the slide's dimensions. Let's add some style to the captions. They'll appear at the bottom left of each slide with a semi-transparent background and a blur effect. The backdrop filter, blur, 10px, creates a frosted glass effect, and the padding and border radius give it a polished look. Finally, Let's define the sliding animation using keyframes. This moves the slider horizontally. The percentage values correspond to the width of the slider. 0% start position, first slide visible. 15% pause on the first slide. 20% move to the second slide. 35% pause on the second slide. 40% move to the third slide. And so on until the last slide. The pauses 15%, 355%, etc. Ensure each slide stays visible for a while before transitioning to the next. And that's it. 
You've created a smooth, auto-sliding image slider using just HTML and CSS. Feel free to customize the colors, images, and animation timing to fit your needs. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more web development tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.